what up queens and kings mind me today i'm not wearing any makeup i am doing some stuff uh, for a project of oh, my hair jesus jesus oh i lost my god that's a whole other story anyway i am currently at tuesday morning so what i'm actually doing is my mom she added an addition to her current home and her current home now will be occupying like a whole separate area for a living room and then like uh whatever you kind of want to do to it area so i am going to be filming it for you guys i'm so excited i am going to decorate everything about it every single little piece i'm so excited i love to do this so i'm gonna take you on this journey with me Stay tuned, guys. Yeah. All right, guys. So we are looking for carpets, rugs, big ones. She um she extended it pretty pretty big. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Y'all can see these rugs are pretty huge, and they're like really reasonably priced. Like this one, two ninety nine, y'all. Two ninety nine, two forty nine, one ninety nine, right there. Depending on what you like, I'm gonna take a look around and then I'll let you know which one I kind of like, and we'll go from there. And if you guys like these masks, which I think they're super cute, they're super super cute. I love the quality of it too. They do have them in silk, so for ladies, if you like the silk. It's uh, they are from Johnny Was. That's the company of them. Johnny Was. Super cute. Yee Look, they have a lot of cute stuff. Look. I guess it's like another mini from Ross, TJ Maxx. I don't know. We'll see. I'll, I'll keep you posted. Stay tuned. Bye. Up, Uggs. Uggs. Uggs material. So warm. I love you guys. And they have blankets, y'all. Look at this. Look at this one. Oh my god. If anybody knows me, I'm a freaking sucker for any kind of blanket I have throw blankets. I have cashmere blankets. I have blankets upon blankets upon blankets. Like during this winter storm, honey, I was not cold. I had six blankets on me. And my face was wrapped up. Yeah. So, this store's pretty cool. Y'all should check it out. I like it. And the prices are good. Like 19 bucks, 20 bucks for uh, sheets. You can get your comforters. Which are 60 for all white. Y'all can never go wrong with all white comforter. Swear to God. That's so classy and like elegant and gotta be clean though. If you're dirty, don't do it. I like this. I like this store. Mm. All right, guys, I am back. Hey guys. Okay, so getting my nose done because of the winter storm. I was unable, obviously, to go anywhere or get my nails done. Don't mind this. I have curly hair. I put gel and hairspray and it's still doing that because guess why it's like 60 degrees in Texas now when it was below freezing which was I think it's like negative seven just a couple of days ago anyway okay so look at my can you just tell that is unacceptable Un look at this Oh, disgusting, unacceptable. I cannot, I have to get my nails done every two weeks and that's pushing it. Anyway, so how many females, females, queens? I know you guys are out there. How many have you guys gone to a nail shop? Explain to them what you want and you don't get any of what, like anything that you wanted. It's like, it went like this, and then it went like that. Like, where did the 
communication go wrong like and now i have to pay for it because there's a whole story behind that like because we have time and gosh to do uh, don't mind me I'm just being a messy person today i was supposed to look cute i got my little yeezys on you know but okay anyway um there was this one time not okay i don't condone fighting fighting is never good please don't ever do it it doesn't lead you anywhere good just don't do it avoid it be the bigger person i should have done that this lady does my toes and then kind of continues to like to proceed to do my nails so then her um accent was very strong and I couldn't understand her. I have an accent too. I know. Shit. I mean, I'm a foreigner. It is what it is. But I asked her, I was like, excuse me, ma'am, you know, very nicely. How much are my toes? Because, you know, I don't, we all want to know how much they are before, you know, like, do I want to do a star or a freaking flower or a freaking X, Y, and Z? So, she said it was eighty dollars for my toes. I said for my toes, eighty dollars. Wait, what? To me, that was a lot, y'all. I am rich, and I'm not gonna part like I am rich. So I was like, damn, eighty dollars for my toes. So what the hell? I'm planning to get all all this done on my nails. Back then, I used to be long. Da 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 da. No. So I literally got into it, and this was a tall Asian chick. She too tall i am five four she is tall she was like almost six feet tall she got mad at me she started pushing me she started telling me you need to sit down over there you need to like first of all you're not gonna tell me where i need to sit for first and foremost i'm going to sit wherever i choose to sit because i choose to sit there if that's where i need to get my nails done done at then i chose to sit there right am i not you know i'm not tripping right like come on treat me like a human being she was like telling me this this and that so i was young and she started pushing me and when somebody puts their hands on me y'all i i am a leo And Leos don't take things very lightly. Like, you tell me what to do, I'm not going to do it. Because I choose not to do it. I have a say-so. That's the way it is. So I said no. So then she pushed me. So then I pushed her back. And she pushed me again. And she pushed me back. And I was like, wait, hold up. What is going on? At that time, I started getting mad. I don't condone fighting. Fighting is never good. Well, I was young and for some reason I wanted to drive my mom's car to go to get my nails done and I was ready to just honestly dip out. I was ready to go, wasn't going to pay, the job was done terribly, nails, they had put just like the little like uh, tips on them, took them off, like just broke them off. I was ready to go. I said, and I'm not paying. So you're not going to pay? Okay, well, I'm going to call the cops. And I said, okay, well, then call the cops. And then I'm like, my. If they call the cops, they're going to get the, they're already getting the license plate to the vehicle that I'm driving. And the vehicle that I'm driving does not belong to me. So they're going to call my mama. I was young. Remember, I was probably in my teens. Like 19. Probably, yeah, like 19. I was like, damn, they're going to call my mama, but okay, whatever. I didn't, I didn't like do out. I stayed until the cops arrived. And then they said, ma'am, they performed a service for you. Whether you like it or not, you have to pay. And I said, well, why? I don't like it. Why do I have to pay for something that I don't like? Like if anybody spends, I'm a very big believer if I worked very hard for my money so therefore I'm going to spend it where I'm going to spend it and I expect certain outcome or I expect it to look a certain way and if it doesn't 
I like to use my ain't ish. I really, 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 really do. Like, my family's embarrassed of me of going to like restaurants. Like, cause I will tell them, you know, sometimes I do do the most. Well, I did. I've become better. I've been more chill. I done. I do a lot of meditation. I do a lot of like breathing exercises. I take my medication. So you know, I'm very kind of like chill now, more relaxed. But back then, it was just like. <sighs> So the cop said you have to pay and i was like all right <laughs> my dummy self said this to the cops at 19. i didn't care i was just like and i know that you know i am the color that i am which is brown i didn't care i said so if i go back in there and i pay this lady to for a job that, she, that i absolutely hate can i go back in there and whoop her ass like really really whoop her ass <laughs> the cops started laughing. <laughs> that was funny. I will never forget that because he didn't. He wasn't like, like being mean about it. He was just like laughing. And he said, "Ma'am, if you do that, then I will have to arrest you <laughs> for assault." I was like, "Great, that's the least thing I need." Lesson of the story is: it is so hard to find a good nail place and i'm so thankful and fortunate enough to have found my place and i will never ever ever these nails are terrible 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 i went to go get them i'm from fort worth i went to go get them at this one place that i used to go to before i found this place and they're just nasty and they're peeling and they're like coming up from the edges it's just a terrible job every single time i go to this place that i'm going to go to like my husband even realizes it like oh your nails look nice i'm like mm -hmm. for real you like them so if your husband notices that means they are done well i leave happy they i communicate with everyone very well they understand me i understand them the manager's going around like ma'am do you like the shape of it is there anything that you want to change do you like the color like constantly going around it's kind of like set up like in, in a little square kind of area or whatever but she's around going around like hey do you like it this this and that and i'm like yeah i like it and yeah i don't like it or whatever but they're just so friendly i like that like friendliness do a good job I don't care how much I pay for it, as long as I know that I'm going to leave there happy, that's all that matters to me. Alright, and the name of the place is called Villa Nail Salon in Clear Fork in Fort Worth. If you know the area, come support them. They are awesome. I am telling you that you will be so, so happy afterwards. After I get my nails done, because I'm waiting outside right now doing the video i will show you how they look look at this anyways y'all i'm leaving i'm leaving because i've been talking to you guys for 11 minutes i swear to god this is all i do on my car i talk to myself and sometimes i'm like damn am i crazy and then i said fudge you know you know why i'm not crazy because i'm meant to do youtube because i just like to talk i talk 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 blah, 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 blah. My husband sometimes will be like, <laughs> I can tell in his face too, it's the funniest thing. He's just like, won't say a single word, but just his eyes. I could just read his eyes like, girl, are you done talking? Can you be quiet? I need some me time. Like if we're driving somewhere, like I'll just be like, oh my God, and look at the sun and look at the clouds and it looks so beautiful and look at over there and da 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 da. Like I just find the beauty in everything. I don't know. Call me crazy. Call me whatever. I find the goodness in everything because we live one life. And if I see a beautiful tree, I'm going to admire that beautiful tree because what if I never see that tree again? So that's just how I live my life. But anyways, it's been 12 minutes, y'all. Talking about nails. Damn. that's how you know i could talk for days anyways we'll come back i'll show you how my nails look i got a nail and then i'll show you the after all right y'all we are back and guess what your girl got her earrings back 
<sighs> story of my life. I felt so naked without him. But anyway, on the flip side, I was still in, I've done a lot of things since I left. Where did I leave? The nail place. I've done a lot of things today. It's my day off. Um, I got my nails done, y'all. Look at them. They look so beautiful. Now, I do have an accent. I just noticed it that, you know what I said? Yes. I really, I know that I, I think I know what y'all think I am. But we're going to do like a whole like Q&A question or like just, you know, like our own questions to each other. So you, so you guys can get a little bit, you know, like more information and get to know us. I think that's pretty cool. But yes i hear my accent all the time and no i do not feel self-conscious and i love my country and yeah yeah even though a lot of people don't tell me i look what i am i am straight up not even gonna lie but anyways i wanted to show you like my nails are so beautiful like nothing wrong with them my cuticles they, they have a beautiful shape they are not messed up. This hand, gorgeous. And that's why I love that place. It's called Villa Nail Salon at the Clear Fork Shop in Fort Worth, Texas. Y'all need to just come to Texas, period. Ooh, do you see that doing it? Oh, oh, Myra, what are you doing with your skincare, girl? I will tell you that too in another video. Hey. Anyways, alright. I think this is it for the video of my day off and the things that I've done. Grabbed food. I went to the mall. Bought a lot of stuff I wasn't supposed to, like always. And yeah, now I'm home. My husband is home. He's been home. He's like, where the heck are you? I'm hungry. Anyways, okay. Now I'm just blabbering. Okay. Bye guys, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on your post notification bell so you can be uh, notified every time I post. Okay, boo? And kings and queens, stay safe out here. Wear your mask. If people don't wear their mask, politely ask, step away from me. Because I believe in being nice first, but if you are not nice, back is done with anyways i hope you have a beautiful day the oh it's no longer out i can't see it i was gonna show it to you guys but the moon is beautiful it's so amazing today is january the 22nd it's my little brother's birthday happy birthday giovanni i love you boo anyway thanks for tuning in and i really love you guys have a great and blessed day and i will see you next time bye Thank you.